Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. From whom all Amen. blessings flow. Amen. 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 Thanks be unto God. Amen. Amen. Our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who give us us the victory. Amen. Amen. And we're grateful unto God. Amen. Because he's the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. He's our redeemer. He's our keeper. He's our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Amen. And we just love the Lord. Why? Because he first loved us. Amen. And we just thank God for bringing us together once again for another beautiful Tuesday night of interactive Bible study and discussion. Amen. And uh, before we get into our Bible study uh, lesson on tonight, amen, we're going to actually uh, have prayer and we want to turn this portion of our meeting over to the hands of none other than our very own Deacon Nathaniel Ray Sr. Amen. Deacon Ray. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is great. Amen. Really do be praised. You know, I don't like using that term where they say go, but he is the greatest of all times. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? There's no other. I'm going to read from Psalms 29. Amen. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of hope. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunder. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Amen. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Yes. yes. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, yes. the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Yes. He maketh them also to ship like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of the fire. Yeah. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to the calf. Yeah. Of the, the forest. And his temple doeth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sit upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sit a king forever. Yeah. He will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I read the Psalms 29, the whole chapter. Uh, we're going to do our prayer request now. Yeah, we're going to have somebody pray. Yes. We're going to give our prayer request now. Uh, I ask that God continue to bless, save, sanctify, and fill with the Holy Ghost all the people of our, of our family that don't have him in their life. Amen. Uh, God to continue to bless the children and bless our world, yeah. especially bless the United States, because I hope we do not go into a civil war. So we want God to take full control of what's going on here for all over the world. Yeah. I'm going uh, ask everybody to give their prayer request. And after prayer request is done, we're going to ask the newly, newly wed person, Minister Best, to lead us in prayer. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm, uh, this is uh, Pastor Shaw. Uh, we, we're going to ask that y'all just continue to just pray for us, continue to keep uh, uh, the bus driver, uh, James Haley, Jay, in prayer. Um, and all those, you know, that were involved in that action, just keep them lifted up in prayer. Amen. Yeah. You know that God is able, he's a healer. Amen. And I continue to keep my family in prayer. Amen. Well. Amen too. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pray for the Latham, Davis, Riley family. Amen. God bless you. I believe uh, Sister Phyllis is on here too, also, um, and she's asking for prayer. Uh, go ahead. Are you, you there, Sister Phyllis? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Any prayer requests? Go ahead. We can go ahead. Continue praying for our Bishop Simmons. May God continue to strengthen him and walk with him as he still goes through some medical uh, situations. Amen. Amen. 
Praise God. Don't Praise forget God. about our family. Amen. Pray for the Staples family. Amen. Pray for the Ray McNeil and Walton family. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Anybody else? Amen. Thank God for uh, Sister Mary. She was just sharing with us before we came on live that uh, she had to get got a procedure done today. We're believing God for her healing. Amen. 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 Pray for Sister Michelle. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. If not, we're going to turn it over to Minister Larry. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. I just want to first give thanks and reverence to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Because if not for him, we wouldn't even be on here having this uh, Bible study. Amen. We know that he is a way maker. Yes. Yeah. And I just want to thank him for, he makes the impossible possible. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. He makes the impossible possible. So I just first ask God to, oh God, just, just touch my mind, heart, body, and soul. Forgive me of any sins committed, known and unknown. Yes. Continue to have mercy on me as I come before you, that my yes. heart may be pure as I come before you with petitions. Oh, hallelujah, God, as we as we cry out, Abba, Father. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. We are your children who are called by your name, standing in need of help. Yes. yes standing in need of your continued mercy. Yes. yes. Oh, God, you're the God that sitteth high and looketh low. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you again for your mercy. Thank you. Oh, God. You know every hair. Oh, God, you know, before we formed my mother's womb, you knew every hair that's on the very top of our head. Yeah. But we come to you on this day. Yes, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, All at the 16th, at this 17 hour. Yeah. Oh, God, asking you, oh, God, let your light shine on us. We come here with intercession, with prayers, and supplications. Yeah. Oh, not only for ourselves, God, but we want to pray for this world, Father. God. Yeah. Yes, God. Oh, God, it's all oh, God. You know, you know better than we do. Yes. What's going on? But even though we don't see it, we put our faith and we put our hope in you. Yes, Lord. Yes. Things will get better because we know that you have a plan. We don't yes. know what it is. We don't know how it's going to play out. But oh God, as a oh God, the Solomon the Proverbs of wisdom it says, oh God, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean oh, yeah. not on own understanding, but just ignite. Help that us that we oh God don't lean on our own understanding. Mm. Yes. But we just acknowledge you in all our ways yes, because God. we stand confident, oh God, that you would make our path straight. You heard the petitions that went forth. Oh God, hallelujah. Yes. For oh God, the bus driver. Uh, it's the help. Oh, yeah. God, it's the Phyllis. Oh, God, yeah. it's the Wanda, it's the Mary Waddell. Continue yeah. to bless our Bishop Simmons. Bless yeah. him right now. Yes, Lord. Only you know how, Father yeah. God. We don't know what they stand in need of, but you know yeah. everything about us. You know everything about each and every one of us. You know. You know, Lord. We cry out to you. You know what we stand in need of. Yeah. All the friends, the Jane family. Oh, Sister Mitchell. Bless them. Yeah. The Ray McCary family. Bless them right now. Bless them, Lord. You know the name. If I mispronounce any name, but you know mm. the name. Ooh. Let it come before you, Father yes, God. Sir. Let yes, your sir. mercy reign right now in the name yes. of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, we know the fervent Jesus. prayer of a righteous man yes. availeth yes. much. So yes. we're coming to you. Oh, God, we're seeking you. Oh, God, yes. we yes. know, oh, God, you said, oh, God, that we would humble ourselves. We're praying. Mm. We seek your faith and turn from our wicked way. Give us a spirit yes. of repentance oh, right God. now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let your light, let your glory shine. Oh, God, right now on this day, let your glory shine. 
Yeah. Lord. Oh, God, because, oh, when it's all said and done, the glory all belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The glory belongs to you, so we give you our prayers, we give you our supper, Christ, and we give you, yeah. I thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Because Thank we know Lord. that you love us. You gave everything that you had. Yeah. You gave your only begotten son. Yes, all that Lord. We might live. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, you said you loved us so much. Yes, you love so us, you Lord. want to say thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, if it wasn't for you. Oh, yes. hallelujah. All right. Yeah, we never know not where we would be. Yes, thank you, Lord. But it's your grace and your mercy. And I know, Lord, I know you're blessing. I know you're blessing. I know it. Yes, yes, God. I feel it. I know. Thank you, Lord. You're blessing. So, God, I'm just asking, Father God, oh, God, that you give us the strength that we can yes. wait on you. We may be able to mount on wings as eagles. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, God. Oh, God, we know you're going to do it. Yes, oh, Lord. we stand confidence, our confidence in you, not in man. Yes, Lord. Mm. And we know that we're going through some perilous time. Yeah. But we know that you got a perfect plan. Oh, so yes. we say oh, hallelujah. Yes. We know yes. that your plan for us is perfect. Yes. yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, so we thank you for your perfect plan. I, thank you, Lord. Oh, God. And thank you for my, my, my family. I thank, thank you, you for uh, uh, Shiloh. I thank you for the past. I thank you for the big. I thank you for my Christian family. Thank you, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We are family. Mm. We are family. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. And I got all my brothers and sisters with Jesus. me. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us understand and help us understand your word. Help us understand the plan that you have for us. Sometimes mm. we make it hard, but it's so simple. Yeah. And I just thank you, Lord, for what you've given me. I thank, thank you. you for everything. Thank In you. Jesus' name. And right now we tell the devil he's got to flee. He's been giving the yeah. big yeah. you know. Yeah. The victory belongs to us, but to help us to take hold to the victory. Yeah. Yeah. Take hold of the victory. Ooh. With no doubt, we know yes, no. that you yes. sent your son. We know that the victory is ours, but sometimes we find okay. it hard to grasp hold to. So give yes. us that strength to grasp hold to the victory. Yes, Lord. In the name In of Jesus' God. name. And we all say victory, victory, victory is ours. In Jesus' name. In, yes. Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Praise. Thank you, Lord. In that wonderful prayer. Uh, with that, we're going to turn it back over in the hands of the pastor. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God and God bless you, Minister Best. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. God. Amen. The prayers of the righteous avail of much, and we're trusting. Yeah. God, and we believe in God. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Lead us at the point of our needs in prayer. Yeah. Amen. All right. This time we're going to uh, uh, share our screen and uh, begin our Bible study lesson for tonight and discussion. One moment, please. That's good. <clears throat> I'm not with Nate. All right. This will be our Bible study and discussion for tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, from the subject and discussing why do we need God? Why mm -hmm. do we need God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's going to be our Bible study discussion for the night. Uh, there's many possible Amen. answers to this question, but what we're going to do tonight, we're going to examine a few, I believe, key reasons as to why do we need God on tonight. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying, listen, when we first come into this world, we're extremely dependent on others. You know, when you came into this world as a child, I'll get some background noise. I don't know from whose thing. But one moment, let's just check that out. A little background noise. Uh, I think we got, I think somebody got it. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, when we come to this world, we, as I said, we're dependent on others, uh, extremely dependent on others. All right. Uh, we need parents. 
for others to do what? To pro uh, provide for us, to, right. to feed us and clean up after ourselves. When we couldn't do for ourselves, we needed some someone to do that for us when we came yeah. into this world. Uh huh. One moment. All right. Even as a small, uh, small children, uh, we sense our need for parental care and protection. You know, um, you know, like I said, when you couldn't do for yourself as a child, you needed the help of your mother or your father or your guardian to, you know, to take care of you, to look after you. And as we get older, it's common to believe that we no longer need anyone or anything. I've known, a lot, I've even talked with and dealt with folks that have had, unfortunately, that mentality. They feel that the, you know that they've come of a, a certain age or a certain period in their life where they feel like they don't need nobody no more. But but uh, starting in adolescence, we, we we where we many think that there's no longer the need for their parents. Mm -hmm. Often continuing even also to throughout adulthood, where many think that they can uh, take care of themselves. You know, I don't need nobody. I got I got this. I can I can take care of myself. See, man, listen, mankind is not as self-sufficient as many would like to believe. You're not as self-sufficient as many would like to believe. We're, in fact, extremely dependent on many things despite our denials, if, we, if we're truly honest with ourselves. And assuming that one believes in God, let us begin with these three simple yet significant reasons as to why we need God in our lives. I want to talk about some of these uh, reasons specifically on tonight, starting with the fact that number one, God is our creator. He is the creator. All right. Creator of what? Of the heavens and the earth. In Genesis 1 and 1, it says what? In the beginning, God did what? He created the heavens and the earth. And of mankind, it goes on to talk about in this Genesis of both male and female. Look at what Genesis did, he did in Genesis 127. He says, so God created man in his own image and in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he in fact created them. In Genesis chapter five, it says he created them male and female and he blessed them and called them mankind in the day of which they were created. All right. Also too, even in the womb, God has a role in giving us life in the womb. Amen. I believe I heard he, uh, uh, Minister Larry alluded to the scripture. Amen. In the prayer before, you know, uh, before we were even formed in our mother's womb, God knew who we was. He knew who he was going to be. God has given us a role. In Jeremiah chapter one, verse five, that's what he was referring to. He said, what? Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you and I ordained you to be a prophet in the nations. It was he that made us, not we ourselves. Look at what Psalms 100 division and verse number three says. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who did what? Made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and we are the sheep of his pastures. God is our creator, knows us better than we knows ourselves. I say that again. God as our creator, the one that made us, he knows us better than even we know ourselves. And even as the manufacturer knows his product better than anything else, knows he knows our weaknesses, he knows our strength. Glory to God. And rest assured, he won't, then he knows you, he also won't put no more in you than you can bear. God knows you. Amen. He's our creator. All right. Now, uh, God is, in fact, the best source to find the answers to such questions as what? Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Why, in fact, am I here? Why am I here? Where am I going? Where am I going? And how should I live? How should I live in this life that I've been given? We need God. Why? Because as our creator, he's, in fact, the only reliable uh, tech support, I like to refer to it as, to help us make sense uh, and use of our lives. You know, uh, for those of you, a lot of you know that may know me, you know that I, you know, my profession 
uh, which I did, I've done for many years, is tech support, computer tech support. A lot of times people have problems with their computers, their systems, different things like that. And uh, God's given me, I thank God, he gave me the knowledge uh, to uh, uh, be able to troubleshoot and provide support when people have problems. It's the same with God. He knows how to, when we got, when things in our life may seem like they be going away, we could turn to and we could trust God uh, uh, to give us support in our time of need. And another reason as to why we need God is because of what? Because of the fact that God is our redeemer. Number one, he's our creator. Number two, he's our redeemer. Unfortunately, all, and I say all, have made a mess of their lives. All right, some way, somehow, uh, another. All right, Romans, look at Romans chapter three, verse 23. It says what? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Now, some actually, in fact, more than others, but all are in need of a major correction. All of us. Why? Because of the fact we were born in the world of sin. We were shaped in iniquity. We need correction. All right, Romans 3, 9. Uh, says what what then are we better than they no not at all for we have previously charged both jews and greeks that they are all under sin all of sin but what did god do god offers himself as our redeemer how did he do it psalms 34 and 22 it said what the lord redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned if we trust god you will not be condemned you won't fail Amen. Amen. Because you're a servant of the most high. God is our redeemer. And in him being a, our redeemer, it, it makes it possible for us to start anew. Glory to God. I'm glad about it. Psalms 103 verse 2 says what? Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who does what? Forgives all of your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who's crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy your mouth with good things so that what? So that your youth is renewed like the eagle. This he did, how did he do that for us? In the New Testament, he did, he, he did that by sending his son, Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter four, verse number four said what? But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to do what? To redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons. Glory to God. We need God. Why? Because as our redeemer, we have the opportunity to be forgiven of sins and to start our lives anew. Amen. When you acknowledge the fact that you need a redeemer, amen, you could start afresh. You could start anew. Glory to God. And a third reason is we need God. And we've, already, we've talked about this. And what have we talked about so far? God being our creator, God being our redeemer. What's the third reason? The third reason as to why we need God is because of the fact that God is our provider. Glory to God. God is our provider. How is he our provider? A physical life in and of itself. Acts chapter 17, verse 20, it says, for in him we live, move, and we have our being. And also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Glory to God. Of that which also too sustains our physical life. So how is he our, prov our provider? Uh, of physical life ourself, it's, uh, in, a, in and of itself. And of that which sustains our physical life. How does he does that? Acts chapter 14, verse 17. It says, nevertheless, he did not leave himself without a witness in that he did good. What did he do? He gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. God is the sustainer of life. He gives us life. Amen. The food that we eat today. Amen. I'm talking about the natural food that was provided by God. He's our provider. Matthew chapter five, verse 45. He goes on to say that you may be sons of your fathers in heaven, for he makes his son do what? Rise on the evil and on the good. And he sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Glory to God. God is our provider of what? Of spiritual strength that we need. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter three, verse 16 says what? 
that he would do what? He would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. I need, and, 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 and it's ever, ever, ever day and time that we needed the strength of God through the spirit. It's right now. Amen. And that's, and, and thank God for providing that for us. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter three and verse 20. Now to him, listen to the scripture. Now to him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that work of it in us. Glory to God. And he goes on to say in verse number six, uh, chapter six, verse 10, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The only way you could do that is, is to understand and recognize that God is your provider. Amen. You can do that. Amen. God is our provider. How? He has promised to meet our physical needs too. We talked about the spiritual needs. God is able to, uh, 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 able to meet our physical needs. Matthew 6, 25, listen to what the word of God says. Therefore, I say unto you, don't worry about your life, but what you will eat or what you will drink, nor even about your body, what you'll put on. Is it not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Then he goes on to say in verse 31, therefore, do not worry, saying, what should we eat or what should we drink? Or what should we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need these things. God knows what we need, even physically. He's our provider. Listen, if we put what we'll put on him and his righteousness first in our lives. Look what he said in verse 33 of the sixth chapter of Matthew. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of heaven of God and his righteousness and all these things. Not some, not few, not many, but he said all these things. I believe he's letting us know right there that everything of which that you stand in need of shall be added unto you. Glory to God. And he has promised to meet our spiritual needs as well. Look what Ephesians 1 and 3 says. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has done what? Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places of Christ. Glory to God. So in summary, um, those who, in fact, uh, reject any need for God, what happens? We find uh, so oftentimes they'll go through life with no true knowledge of self or purpose in life. All right. And they'll have no way to atone for or to truly correct the many mistakes they will even make in life. And they'll, in fact, have lived lives devoid of the fullness of God's providential care. I like to also say, too, that how much better uh, to confess our needs to God and look to him. He's our source. He's our strength. He's the author and finisher of our faith. For wisdom, for guidance, to making the best of our time here on earth. For forgiveness and renewal when we mess up even in our lives through sin. For providential care and spiritual strength to live the truly, in fact, abundant life. Glory to God. In my conclusion, I, more than uh, more things could actually be said, we could talk about and discuss in regards to our need for God. But for now, let these suffice. All right. God is our creator. God is our redeemer. God is our provider. That is why we need God. I think these are three of uh, the most important. I could go on and talk about a whole ton of things as to why we need God. But these are so key that we need to understand. So I wanna talk and discuss even further on tonight, amen, why we need God. Why do we need God? Are y'all still with me? Amen, amen. Y'all still with me? You can unmute. I see everybody muted. Thank you so much. We're getting some background noise. Amen, amen. Why do we need God? Uh, there's so many, mm -hmm. uh, so many scriptures I could go to even in regard to God, regards to this, God regards to this, excuse me, I, I should say. Uh, what we need to understand, let me also say this, is the fact that, uh, that you were made by God. And not only you were made by God, didn't just make you to make you, you were made for God, for his purpose, for his plan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that, that, that's why that, you that's why you need God. 
Mm. Glory to God. And it is, in fact, um, a God connection, which actually also to uh, gives meaning and purpose to us in an otherwise uh, irrational existence. See? Um, it is the certainty too, also to understand this, uh, family friends, those of you who are listening to us online, it is a certainty too, also to that you need to understand that there is an almighty who is not disinterested in what happened to his children. The psalmist said, for we are his people. We are the sheep of his pastures. You belong to God. He made you for a purpose. He had a plan already predestined for your life. And what God is looking for is for us as a people to come back to him. Amen. And, uh, and, and, and because of the fact that he's uh, does in fact have an interest in regards to what happens to us. See that, that in and of itself allows us to face the sad, any type of thing or situation that may come upon us in our life, in our walk of life. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Some of the scriptures, uh, I, I, I talked about them even on tonight, but there are some scriptures in the word, some more scriptures too in the, in the word of God uh, that, that lets us know, in fact, why do we need God? If you're taking notes, write this down. John chapter 4, verse 14, excuse me, verse number 16. John chapter 14, verse number 16. He said, what Jesus said to, to him, he said, for I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the father, but by God. glory to God. Amen. Amen. You need God. Amen. Amen. To the father, you to get to him, you need God. Amen. In John chapter 12 and verse 46, he went on to say, he says, I am come a light into the world that whosoever abideth in me should not abide in darkness. Amen. God don't want you to be in darkness. Amen. Why? Because he is the light. Amen. 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 And also, Amen. why do we need God? The background noise. I don't know who it is. Uh, getting a little background noise. All right. Adjust your microphone if you could. Lower, lower the volume a little bit if you can. That'll help. All right. Titus chapter two, verse number 12 tells us what? Teach, it teaches us that it says what? Denying uh, ungodliness and worldly lust. It tells us how we should live. We should live soberly, soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. The only way you're going to be able to do that is to understand the fact and acknowledge it that you need God. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. He said, what? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. God knows what he's thinking towards you, saith the Lord. He says in that scripture, thoughts of what? Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you what? An expected end. All right. One of the most important, uh, uh, all of God's word is important and great and awesome. But one of the uh, foundation scriptures, amen, in regards to our walk with him, amen, God made the greatest sacrifice, greater than anyone uh, in the face of time. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, did he, what did he do? He gave mm -hmm. his only begotten. I, I heard uh, Minister Best refer to it. He said, God gave his all. <laughs> he gave his only begotten Holy son. <laughs> Believeth on him shall not perish, but we can have everlasting life. And that's what I'm striving for, y'all. And I'm praying, I, I believe someone's listening to us even on tonight. Amen. Uh, your strive, your strive, your endeavor should be for everlasting life. Amen. We're living to live again. Life. Amen. Amen. All right. Right. Amen. So we want to, I want to just open the floor for discussion, comments in regards to this uh, subject matter on tonight. Why 
do we need God? Why do we need God? I could, I could, I could go on for a couple of hours, tell y'all why I need God. <laughs> hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Because uh, I know that of myself, I'm nothing. We're just like, a, as the songwriter said, you're just like a without a sail. Amen. Uh, amen. Why do we need Right. Amen. I have a question, comment, share. Come on at this time. Amen. God bless you. Um, Minister Latham. Um, we need God because without him, we can do we can't do anything. That's right. He created everything that we have and everything that we will have, he's given to us. Amen. Because we, we strive to be um closer to him by living the life that he wants us to live <clears throat> and we go to work and we we ask for things and we pray for things and he answers prayers he, he's he's there for all that we need if without him we can't do anything yeah, if he's the creator he's the father and we have to look up to him as the father and call him abba you know and um without him we can't breathe we can't get well we can't we can't do anything. We have no control. Everything is in the, the spiritual realm. And it's all about God. And it's the devil's out there too. But we're not giving him no recognition because he's already a defeated foe. He didn't create anything. He's trying to destroy us. Mm. So we have to look up to God and give us the strength to make it through, to walk upright, and to, to do everything that we're supposed to do as his children. That's my comment. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Minister Lincoln. Amen. He is our provider. Amen. Amen. I, I, I truly found him to be my source and my strength. Um, and uh, oftentimes, uh, even in my life, uh, uh, those of you that know, you know, uh, uh, back in, uh, those you may not know, I walked away from corporate America. Uh, working a job, punching the clock, nine to five, back in 19, uh, 90, I think it was 97. <laughs> you got to think about it. <laughs> hey, man, but uh, when you work for yourself, uh, you know, uh, my perspective on it, uh, to me, it's, it's, it is like a, you know, when you, you know, it's a faith walk. Because, um, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you don't, you, you know, you just, you're just really de dependent and relying on uh, people to support you, uh, being an entrepreneur. Uh, but what I find found that all these years, uh, I trusted and depended on God as my, my, my provider. I remember back uh, when I started doing computer work, even um, I had came across this Bible and I still have it today, uh, years ago. Uh, it's a computer Bible, and uh, every computer that I worked on, I was putting the Word of God on that computer, <laughs> and I wasn't, I wasn't just slipping it on it. I was letting people know, hey, I got the Holy Bible on here, Genesis to Revelation, Scripture search, you got your Concord, you got all that. I gave out so many Bibles electronically, but I was giving out the Word, even <laughs> what, what I was doing as my profession, if you will. I was just still doing his work. And this is what I'm amen. about. I'm telling you, this is what it's about. Every opportunity, every chance you get, amen, you share God, the good news, the gospel. Amen. Amen. And, uh, amen. amen. And, and I, I believe that's why God has blessed us. Amen. Because we put him first in everything we've done. Amen. amen. And even now, we're still yet putting God first. Amen. 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 And when you let God be the center, of, of all that you do, God's going to bless you going out, going, coming in. And the enemy, we know, yes, we know the enemy don't like it. We know he's on his job, but guess what? God is greater. Amen. And he told us that no weapon that's even formed against us shall prosper. Amen. And even a tongue of which that'll try to even rise up against us, God will condemn it. Mm. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. So I'm trusting. That's why I know. Amen. Why do I need God? Amen. Amen. Because he's the center of my joy. Amen. He's my peace that surpasses all understanding. 
Mm. Hey, man, he's my provider when I couldn't even see my way. All right. God made ways out of no ways. Mm. Why do I need God? Because when the doctors gave me even up, I mm. almost lost my hand and my arm. Said I'd right. be for life. Why do I need God? Mm. Ten-year-old mm. child cried out to God, God, if you save me, if save you me. kill me, glory to yeah. God. Why do I need God? Mm. I know yeah. I need God. All right. There's no greater help that I know. Glory to All God. Right. He's my source. He's my strength. Glory to God. God. Strength like mm. brother. Why do I right. need God? Glory to All God. Right. Because he gives me peace. Glory to God. Glory to God. Even when the enemy tried to come out against us as a flood, the spirit of the Lord mm. raised up a standard against. Why do I need God? Mm. God. Glory to God because he's my shepherd, my way maker. Glory to God. Glory to mm. God. He's a, the songwriter said he's my promise keeper. All right. Light in the midst of darkness. Glory to mm. God. That's why I need God. I need him. Talk about day. it. I need him every hour. Glory yeah. to God. I can't live without him. Glory Amen. To God. Glory to God. I need mm. God. Glory All right. God. Let me let somebody else share because I could start mm. preaching off of that. <laughs> this is Brother Labor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. This is Brother Labor. God bless you. Why we need God? Come on here. That's just Come like on. you said earlier, uh, Pastor. That's just like asking a child why he needs a mother and a father. Come on. You need God. You need God because he's your father. He's the, your, the creator. That's He's it. the creator of heaven and earth. He's the Alpha, the Omega. All right. Mm. He's the whole Wajara. All right. He's Elohim. <laughs> all right. He and look, behold, the world was in darkness, mm. and God spoke, "Let there be light." Now Let that day, he wasn't just talking about a physical light. This world was in darkness because of the evil. There's evil in the world. Darkness. Darkness just don't mean. A, a, a material light, it means a spiritual darkness as well, okay? Mm. The Bible speaks of it. Uh, 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 protect me from evil, okay? We want God to, why we need God? We, we need God to protect us. Yes. That's why God sent, sent, sent his son, Jesus Christ, to, to redeem us back to him because he is our protector, okay? Mm. He, is our, he is our protector. We, 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 we're really lost in a world of darkness full of sin. God said, I'm going to make man. Jesus, you got to save him. Now, Holy Spirit, you got to keep him. So that's what the Holy Spirit is doing right now. Keeping us in the will of God such that we can remember daily that God is our Father. He's there to provide for us anything that we need and ask in the name of Jesus Christ. God will provide. Why? Yes, because he is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. And you've heard, when you say Lord, you better say Lord Jesus. You understand? Or, 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 or God, Jehovah. Because when you say God, you got these other little deities. You know, the Bible speaks of these, these little miniature gods. You understand? These little, these little spirits. All through the Bible, you hear about these little miniature gods and these little spirits running around doing things. A little rich crap, this and that. Mm -hmm. We need God. We need God to daily protect us. Okay? <laughs> to protect us what? From evil. Why? Because evil exists. You better accept this truth that the evil exists. The Bible teaches us about demonology, witchcraft, the darkness in the world. We need God to remind us through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that he is the way, the truth, and the what? The light. Mm. All right. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 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 Amen. Amen. I just, you know, uh, Amen. The, the, this, this, this subject matter was uh, just on my heart today. Amen. Why yeah. God? Amen. It, it, it's just so important. I was looking at another scripture too. Uh, mm. uh, 
Psalms 127 one says, What for if the Lord except the Lord build the house, they labor mm -hmm. in and, and and let and except the Lord keep the city, the watchman mm -hmm. walketh, waketh, excuse me, uh, but in vain. All right. Mm -hmm. So we need God to do what? To not only to, to build the foundation of which the we that we, we that we live upon, but also to keep us. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Why do we need God? Amen. Somebody else have a mm. comment you want to share real quick. Amen. And remember that scripture I, I shared with y'all in the, in the presentation, John chapter 12, 46. It said, What? For well, I am coming to the light. I, I, I'm coming, and I come a light into the world. And whosoever will be upon me shall not do what? Abide in darkness. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 He is the light of the world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. The light of the world. Amen. Amen. And if, we, and if we believe on him, amen, mm -hmm. amen. And, and, and belief is more than lip service. Amen. You got, you got to live this thing. Amen. Yes, and whosoever believes on me, when I believe him, that means I, I, I acknowledge his word, I trust his word, I do his word, shall yes, not abide in darkness. Glory to God. Amen. 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 See where that light is, that dark, the darkness can't comprehend. Come on. That's right, though. Amen. 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 What see what he has tell? He said, For if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship. Amen. Glory to God. And I and that's what I want. I don't know about you. We're talking to somebody that's listening on tonight. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Bible study. Amen. Amen. God, God wants fellowship with you. But you got yes, to yes. you gotta walk in his light. You got to walk Amen. in Amen. Glory to God. You can't do things your way. Amen. You can't make it on your own. Amen. Mm -hmm. you know, you know uh, you're not even of yourself. Amen. God made you for himself. Mm -hmm. Glory to yes, God. Sir. Amen. We're not our own, but we belong to God. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Somebody else want to share or have a comment or question? Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to little mama, piggyback on what you said. You can't, we can't do this alone. So yes. it reminds me of the service on Sunday. Yeah, uh, uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, you're soldiers, right? Yes. The soldiers, that means you got to watch my back. I watch your back. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. they call it, I know uh, uh, some other veterans, I know no, uh, they can lay them. You know, when you say, hey, you got a man picking up the ring, you got your point, man. Amen. You know, and 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 I look at uh, uh, your Moses, he had to have somebody hold him up when he became weak. Mm -hmm. See, we all need somebody. See, the devil likes to divide. When yes. God says, united we stand, divided we fall. Amen. You know, but we is when we come as a unit, you know, it's ne it's nothing we can't do because you watch my back, I watch your back. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you know, again, you know, hey, listen, I'm just saying, you know, I know Deacon Layton, he'll give me a call. Hey, everything all right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that means a lot because just the boy say, is everything all right? You know, it gives you a little comfortability. And 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 that's a, a a part of outreach, you know, because it reach out to people. Hey, mm -hmm. you're right, because even though we might come into the house, mm -hmm. we get weak too. Yes, and sometimes we have to encourage one another, even if we just say, "How you doing, brother?" So, and that because of service Sunday, you know, me being military, so I, I felt it. So, you know, it's a war. We're at war. Yes, we yes, are. Sir. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Minister Larry. Amen. 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 Somebody was sharing with me, Amen, uh, on a uh, in a message here, Amen, uh, uh, that we need God also too because He's our hope. Yes. He's our hope. Amen. He's our Amen. hope and a hope, yes, and, 
and a without God hopeless world. Mm. If we don't have God, it's a hopeless situation. Amen. Amen. But, but because of the fact that we have God, we have access to the Father, there is hope. Amen. Hope in the world. Amen. He is truly amen. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking on, on that too. Not only is he, uh, why do we need God? Not only because of the fact that he's our hope, he's also, also our help. Yes, sir. He's our amen. help. He's our very present help. This word says, even in the times of trouble that we have in our lives. Amen. God is awesome. God bless you. Amen. amen. God bless you. Amen. Anybody else have a comment, want to share, have a question? Amen. Come on. Um, you know, the word says, we can't serve two masters. Mm. Amen. You're either going to serve God or the God. You know, uh, Satan and his minions, they created the first sin. Mm. Yes. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. And he comes uh -huh. on earth. He created the sin of the greatest liar of all times. Mm. Amen. He and Adam was disobedient. Yes. Because they didn't listen to God. It was their first sin, disobedient. God was there from the beginning, like you say, he made the heaven and the earth. Yes. He provided for us then. Oh. He Amen. did all the things that they needed them, for them to live and to survive. Amen. We needed him then, we need him now. Amen. Yes, you know, that's a good message that you gave. Why do we need God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a message that we need to put out for the sinners to let them know why they need God. Mm. Because the, saints, the saints should know why they need God. Amen. Something is wrong. We need to go back on that. Well, whoever needs to go back on their knees mm -hmm. and get what they're supposed to have. Because how could you live holy and with the Holy Ghost and don't know why you need God? Mm. Amen. Very good message. I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the point that I'm getting at, we have needed God from the beginning. Amen. God was our father when he created the heaven and earth. He was Amen. our father when he let his son come down and die for us. Amen. Amen. You understand? And, and Jesus, he came down. He said, I didn't come to change the law. That's right. Because everything was the same from the beginning. Yeah. Amen. He came to fulfill. It. That's it. Amen. You, you, you understand? And like I say, if 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 you know, you either gonna serve God or you're gonna serve Satan and his men. Amen. Amen. One God. <laughs> There's a lot of these little fake gods out here. Yes, sir. You know, and Revelation tells us that it's gonna be a war. Yeah. But oh, yeah. He said that we We're in a war right now. War by ourselves. Because God still has two thirds of the angels. Yeah, thank you. Lucifer Lord. only come out with one third. <laughs> two thirds is still walking around, helping us on the earth and leading us. Thank you, Lord. Yes. With God, and we wrestle against principalities. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. No, we not. And that's only even still. God had gave us rule here on earth over the devil. And letting us know why we need him. So when Amen. Comes, the angels and us gonna be together. All right. We need him. They ain't gonna never stop me. That's right. Amen. God bless you. you understand what I'm saying? It's like even when he gave us water to drink, because we know we need water to live. Amen. He gave us breath. When you die, the breath leaves you, but he gave us breath to live. Amen. Amen. He gave us food. Even before we was eating meat, we was vegetarian. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
He supplied all our needs then, and he supplied all our needs now. And yes, sir. He also says, when he gave us two of the greatest things that I heard, because everywhere you go, seem like everybody know them too. The 23rd Psalm and the Lord's Prayer. All right. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's now let things be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's in heaven. Which we know heaven is heaven. And holy. Mm -hmm. On earth, saints should be living heavenly and holy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that song. What's that song? I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Yeah. Every hour. Huh? Every hour? Every hour. You know, everything, you know, it's like I say, he gives us the blueprint. Yes. He gives us the blueprint. He tells yes, us everything we should do, what we shouldn't do. And he said he would lead us and guide us and gave us a comforter to help us get through. Amen. Thank Glory to God. God. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the word. Very good Amen. word. God bless you, Dick. That's one of the words that really need to be put out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? For the Amen. people that really don't have God. That's right. To understand where we're coming from. Letting them know why they need God. Come mm. on. That's absolutely That's a good word, Dick. So y'all know what y'all got to do, right? Y'all got to share it. Amen. 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 Share this YouTube video. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Uh, we want people liking, subscribing, share this word. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Deacon Ray. Amen. 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 Evangelist Atkinson put in our chat. Oh, we got somebody else joining. Uh, you got that, Sister Wanda? Yes, I got it. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, got more people coming in. God bless you. Amen. We need uh, Evangelist Atkinson. Need Atkinson says we need God. We need God because He keeps us from endangering ourselves from this dying world. Mm. Amen. That's heavy, y'all. Mm -hmm. He died because he keeps us from endangering ourselves from this dying world. Dying so, world. In short, what can I say? He keeps us. That's why we need God. Amen. Amen. Is it that one of his promises? Uh-huh. Yeah. He told us, he, he told us what well, he'll keep us in perfect peace if we keep perfect our mind stayed on him, right? Keep our mind stayed on him. That's it. Mm. Amen. Yeah. So that's that's another reason, very important, as to why we need God. Amen. 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 I love it Amen. on tonight. Our, our help, our hope, our keeper, our provider, our creator. Good God from Zion. Amen. 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 Anybody else have a thought you want to share? God bless you. Yeah, well, I just want y'all to keep me in prayer. Y'all know I just had major surgery. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, think, but I, I guess some people was on, on, on Facebook yesterday, but I had major surgery. You know, I had a. a I had to have my rib replaced, and uh, I'm okay. You're okay, I'm right? Okay. You're good, huh? <laughs> uh, God bless you, Larry. All right, but you know what? You know what? Though? I need something from y'all. I need y'all to help me out if you can. All right. I, I mentioned it on Sunday. The Lord has put in my heart. I know you guys got Facebook. I'm going to encourage you, like, go on there sometime during the day and do a prayer. We don't got to like each other's prayers. Just go on your own Facebook and encourage somebody else to do it. It's not about liking nothing. It's just about doing it. Right. Anyway, I mean, God bless you, Pastor. Hello, this event is Evangelist Atkinson. I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm going to say this. I thank okay. God for, Go for this uh, message tonight because um, one of the things that um, this is one of the messages that we need to hold within our heart and study on it because this is one of the things that people that do not believe in God, this is the question is, is there a God? How do you know there's a God? And this lesson right here is a is perfect answer. And, you know, I just. Amen. Amen. Hello. 
Van Jackson. Y'all still there? Is everybody still there? We, I think we lost. We lost. Uh, I'm still here. I think the uh, something in. happened. Uh, Van Jackson, you come back in. Uh, look like a yes. good comment. Hey, well, you got cut off. Okay. Yeah, we heard you so when I'm, you was I'm talking about the, what the world, what the, what the world needs this message here. Go ahead. Yes, the world needs a message because one of the things that you know they would say to us, to the believers, how do we know there is a God? Mm. What about God? You know, that's the attitude that they have. And I'm saying thanking God for this message because we have something. We have a lot of reasons why we need God, but tonight we've shared with one another, and we have something else that we can go out and tell those that don't believe. That's it. Amen. 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 God bless you. That's awesome. Amen. 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 He's absolutely right. Amen. And this is this is something of which it needs to be shared. Amen. And I'm praying uh, for all of you, those of you that may maybe be watching us on YouTube. Amen. Uh, we pray that this has been a blessing to you. Amen. And you have a, a truly a better understanding on tonight uh, for what we've uh, shared Amen. in this lesson and discussed as to why you need God. Amen. Mm. And you need God. Amen. 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 The psalmist said, you didn't, make, you didn't make yourself, but it was God that That's made right. you. He's our creator. He created you. Amen. Yes, he and he created you for a purpose. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And God loves you. And so do we. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so, man, man. And if there's ever a day and time that you needed God, that day is right, right now. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. We need to acknowledge him in all that we do, all that we say, in every area and walk of our life. Amen. 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 He told us if we if, 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 if we seek His kingdom even first, if you amen. if you acknowledge Him as the risen Savior, Amen. And even that, have Him in your life, Amen. You seek His kingdom first, yeah. Amen. He said everything you uh, and all these things should be added amen. unto you. Everything that you stand in, everything that you stand in need of, God is able to provide for you. Amen. 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 You know, it's so funny how people think about trying to grow rich, how to try to advance, how to have success in life and all this other kind of stuff. I've seen all kinds of self-help things the world may try to, you know, teach and talk about. But guess what? We got the greatest help that anybody could know. And that's, that's, amen. that's God. Amen. Through Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And him amen. just being in our life. Amen. If you truly want to have an abundant life, I'm speaking to somebody today. Amen. If you want to truly have an abundant life, amen, amen, a, a life that's just truly full of glory, amen, commit thy way unto the Lord. Amen. He'll give you your heart's desire, but you got to commit your way unto him. Amen. 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 And, it's a, and it's a daily walk. Amen. Mm. And I just want, not just want one day or two days a week. But every day, every, every day, every time you have an opportunity, oh, chance, amen, to just submit yourself or commit your way to the Lord. Amen. God's going to keep you. He said he'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. And that's the key. Stay on him. We got the key. We got to keep your mind stayed on him. Glory to God. Amen. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Why do I need God? Because I need peace. <laughs> mm. Amen. Amen. Peace Amen. to surpass of all. Amen. Yeah. Should keep your mind and hearts through Christ Jesus. Come on. Amen. 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 So we we talked about it on tonight, and we're praying, even with this recording, Amen, that you've been blessed and you've been encouraged. Amen. And we want you to walk, Amen, even further the more with God. Amen. Amen. You can't do it of yourself. Amen. 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 But with the help of the Lord, amen, I could do all things, amen, through him, with Christ, Jesus, which strengthens me. All right. amen. amen. We love you with the love of the Lord on tonight. And we thank God. Anybody else have any comments or questions? Amen. Real quick before we cut off. Amen. We thank God. Yeah, for I, got one more, I got one more thing. Sure. I know you can add or take away from the word, but, you know, I like how a uh, minister Layton and Deacon Layton be mad enough the little pamphlets that they have. You know, they be given to people. Yes. This message is a little pamphlet to hand out. You know, and a lot of times, you know, you don't add no taking away, but you're keeping the saints what they can go to to tell people in the world why they need God. 
Mm. All right. You know what I'm saying, you know, things like this here, you know, it could help. You know, if we could print out some little pamphlets and hand them out in the streets, or you know, if you're going out and you witness to somebody, you know, because a lot of times people will come up, I don't know what to say or whatever, whatever. This gives them a blueprint. Mm. It ain't changing the word because it's just the word it's that the you word. have took on the scripture. Mm. Yes, sir. Why people need God. Amen. You, you understand? Word. Like I say, a lot of times, you know, people, you know, like when Moses said, you know, that I'm afraid that I can't talk or I can do this here or whatever, whatever. And a lot of people don't have that in them where they could go out and speak it. You, you know what I'm saying? But this gives them a guide mm. that you could witness to somebody. Amen. 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 All right. This Amen. is why you need God. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You're giving them something to show that you got something better than what they have. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. God bless Amen. you. Right? Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. You, you got my wheels turning even more. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we, we, listen, we uh all right. Yeah. Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna do something with this here. Amen. And listen, I want y'all to share. Good. We're looking, listen, we're looking, uh, there's a purpose and a reason. I need uh, those of you that are on here uh, and those of you that are even watching us, I would like you to share this. We, we, wanna, we want to actually get real quick. We need to get to 100 subscribers. We need to get to 100 subscribers. And there's a reason as to why we're, we need to do that on our YouTube channel, all right? Because uh, we want to actually have the ability uh, to uh, to utilize mobile devices to do YouTube live, all right. And uh, I shared that with some of y'all at the, in the sanctuary in the church and on the live on Sunday. Uh, we're looking mm -hmm. at updating our equipment, and uh, we're going to be uh, making some changes with hope, prayerfully within the next month. Uh, we're upgrading. Um, Somebody say upgrade. 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 Man, we're upgrading. Amen. Amen. Because we, 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 it is our endeavor. To, uh, uh, we want a, we want a pro professional presentation of a, pro mm -hmm. a presentation of excellence of uh, not only of our Bible study, of our mm -hmm. worship service tools as well. Amen. So we need your help. I need, we need to get to hundred subscribers, share y'all, share this word. Uh, this Bible study we had even on tonight, share with your family, share with your friends. Amen. 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 And we pray that those of you that have watched us on tonight has been a blessing to you. Amen. And we, Amen. And we believe that we that, that that you have a better understanding on tonight as to why you need God. Amen. Amen. All right. With that, Amen. we're going to get ready to close out in prayer. I'm going to ask her. I love to hear her pray too. I'm going to ask if our sister Wanda take us out. In All right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. Thank the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Bible study tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for how you're opening up our understanding. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I, I thank you, Lord, for um, the Bible study lessons that we've been given. Yes. I thank you for how it's what you what we're learning in, in what I'm learning in Bible study. I'm also learning in Sunday school at my yeah. And also the preacher preached on the same thing Sunday morning that was preached or uh, that was taught in, in, Bible, in Sunday school and the previous Bible study. So Lord, yeah. I, thank you. Thank you. I ask you Lord to open up more and more of our understanding, yes, give yes. us more and more wisdom. Lord, touch our hearts, touch our minds. Yes, God. Help us to be able to be example to other people, to our yeah. families to our friends, to our neighbors. And Lord, help us to always be good neighbors. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, to keep us, guide us, protect us yeah. in everything that we do in your will. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 It's been awesome, everyone. Amen. Amen. We pray that it's been a blessing again to you. And, uh, uh, for the duration of the, the remainder of this night and so this week. we pray that y'all have a blessed one until next time 
Just stay in the blessing, all right? We love y'all. Amen. 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 Love y'all too. Amen. Love Amen. God bless, God bless God. everybody. Amen. Good night. All right. God bless. God bless. Thank you. God bless you.